Hi everybody. Today we're making a sea breeze. All right, so what do I need to make a sea breeze, Julia? Today you will need four ounces of cranberry juice. Okay, so I got a no sugar added cranberry juice here. We like this a little bit tartar than the sweetened cranberry juices, um, but I think she should work out just fine. Four ounces? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so there's two. What kind of glass are we using for this, Julia? We have a mason jar. Yep, good patio, porch patio drink in the summer, but it'll do just fine in the winter as well. Yes. Okay, what next? Uh, one and a third vodka. Okay, one and a third, weird number, but... Yes, I thought so as well. All right, so I got the one and a half side up here. I'll just do slight, I'll do a scant one and a half ounces. And that's probably about one and a third. And then one ounce grapefruit juice. Yeah, so we're using white grapefruit juice again because it is the best for cocktails. Unless it explicitly asks for... Ruby red grapefruit juice, you should be using this white grapefruit juice. So we're supposed to give it a stir, I guess? Yes. Alright, so I have a bar spoon somewhere. Yep. Here's my giant bar spoon. Get rid of the jigger. Put it in there. Nice layer. Alright, Julia. Garnish with a lime wedge. No garnishes today. Hope we don't have any garnishes today. Bon appetit. So I imagine as a variation of a cranberry and vodka, this would be quite That's nice. Amazing. The grapefruit juice will be nice and to nice bounce tang. off, bring the tang tartness to it. That's beautiful. I actually love that so much more than a vodka cran. I do too. I think it's it almost tastes yeah. like a cranberry lemonade, which yeah. is pretty cool. I love vodka cran. That's what I usually my go to when we hit the bar. But adding that bit of grapefruit just kind of makes it smoother. That's nice. That's yeah. really nice. Yeah, so uh, cool. That was a sea breeze cocktail. Yeah. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And thanks for drinking with us. Cheers. Cheers.